Hey treasure finders, in this video I visit five different beach combing spots on Lake Michigan as my days living in Wisconsin are coming to an end. Soon we will be moving back to our home state of Michigan, so I wanted to visit my hot spots. Let's go see what we can find. here today is to collect some rocks for my art projects and the reason I came to Algoma is because of this there's so many rocks here and if you're really good in looking through all these rocks there's quite a bit of uh, beach glass as well so I'm gonna first walk up the beach and look for glass because I do find glass here and I'm noticing also there's some pretty decent driftwood as well so I'm here really to collect today, but I can't resist just walking up the beach looking for glass first. There's a lot of algae down that end, and there's alewives this year, a lot of geese on this beach, so I don't expect it to get super crowded. I might do a little metal detecting too, but let's see what we can find. So here's an alewife. They've been pretty prevalent this year on Lake Michigan. It goes in cycles. There's, whoa, some years there's none, some years there's a lot. We haven't had them in a long time, so it's it's probably time for the cycle. But they kind of stink and kind of nasty. seaweed on this quartz some really neat fossils here look at this one I don't know if you can see how sparkly this is that one is really cool doing the same thing picking up these little teeny rocks and literally <laughs> this was sitting right next to me again perfect beach glass there must be a ton out here it's just so hard to see in these rocks look at that this is glass though good morning treasure finders I am at one of my favorite stops on Lake Michigan on the Wisconsin side, I'm at a park close to downtown called Claude, Claude or Clody. And I usually find some really good glass and rocks here. I'm gonna go up and over that break wall as well and look over there. But let's see, the waves are coming in really hard and so maybe there'll be some good treasure down here this morning. It's absolutely beautiful this morning. I'm thinking there might be, could be algae in that water which could be gross, so we'll see. So there is algae up this way, so that kind of sucks, but I'm finding a little bit of glass here. Green piece over here. More green piece. Pottery. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I come here a lot in the off season. I come here in the winter and in the fall. And so I've never been down here in the summer when there's been an algae bloom. And there's an algae bloom right now. And you probably can't tell because of the lighting, but that water down there is kind of like pea soup. And I don't know, algae blooms just happen. 
and then they go away. You never know where they're gonna be. I'm still gonna go down here and check things out to see if there's any stones. And I'm hoping maybe there isn't as much over there, but there, there totally is. Um, this is a private part of the beach. But yeah, there's tons of algae and it really stinks. So this is gonna be a short stop. I'm gonna go up the beach to a different park and check it out. I'm just gonna go down here for a second and see if I can find any glass. You can see in the, when the waves crash, it's like a, it's just like pea soup coming in and look at down here. It's really hard to even find any glass when it's coated in this algae. So I think I'm gonna move on to my next favorite park and see if there's anything there. I'm kind of tempted to go up here close, but ugh, it's really gross. I'm gonna be huffing and puffing. <laughs> the thing about like Michigan beaches on the Wisconsin side is that they tend to sit up on cliffs and you have to walk a considerable distance downhill and then back uphill to get back up to the parking lot. And the beach was just, there's just too much algae. You can see this hill I'm going up here. My next place that I'm going is called Doctor's Park. And it's also way up on a hill. It's even farther to go down. So at least I'll get my exercise this morning. But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, but not surprised about the algae. So I at my second stop this morning, and this is called Doctor's Park, and it's near Milwaukee. I'll have to uh, put it on the screen what town it's in. There's two ways to get down here. This is the really steep way, <laughs> and then there's another way that's a little bit longer but flatter to get down to the beach. The very first video that I did on my channel, if you go back to it, it's absolutely terrible because I didn't know what I was doing. I'm still not sure if I know what I'm doing, but it was a terrible video. <laughs> it was from the parking lot of this park and it was winter time, so super cold, but I always find really good glass here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens today. There's a little creek that runs down into the it's pretty dry right now but it can run pretty pretty thick so this right here is one way to get down there but i'm not going to do that today i'm going to go up here where the structure is down here by the water if you come down to doctor's park there's no amenities down here by the water so if you have to use the restroom or something you've got to go up to the top of the hill so just keep that in mind it's too bad that this building is not up and running. It does look like there, so there's a sign there that says help renovate the beach house. So it looks like maybe they're raising money to do that. So we go to this entrance and oh, the water looks clear. The water looks clear. No algae here. Yay. So this could be good. It's really overgrown. Oh, smokes. I never come here in the summer. Wow. There's no uh, poison ivy. Whew. There you go. All right. Doctor's Park. No algae. Lovely. Tons of rocks. Down there. It'll be real hard to pass down that way, so I'm going to have to run. I have to go this way. Now I can go for a ways, but this is what I was hoping for. All of these beautiful rocks to pick through. I found my first ever marble here, so wish me luck this morning. Hey, I had to do it. I had to get the water shoes on because the big wave just got me soaked. So I don't know if you can hear this audio, but these are the best water shoes. And I'm actually thinking of having some made that you can buy because I think they're so awesome.
this isn't anything that I collect, but this is uh, man-made composite. This very common in the Great Lakes for this stuff to wash up. Another piece of composite there. Another piece. It's a great place to bring the dogs to swim. A couple of Labradors out here having a blast. Another thing that floats in a lot are old bricks. Again, not something I collect, but something that you can find. I think these yellow ones are also brick. I've found those before. This is a brick. A lot of man-made stuff this morning. They have really, find really cool fossils here. I'll look this one up. I think it's called a crinoid. I'm not sure, but I'll look it up. I love heart-shaped rocks. Look at this one. It's almost like a broken heart. Check out all the driftwood. I'm gonna pick up a few of these pieces. They're really nice. Sometimes it's hard to pass up some really good driftwood.
stop in Port Washington, Wisconsin, on our way back up to Appleton. And this beach is really clear. There's no algae. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. I just found a sweet little piece of green glass and I'm gonna keep walking down the beach. There's some more rocks down this way. So just spend a little bit of time here while I'm waiting for my husband to come and meet me for lunch. Today, I also stopped at my super secret location. I found this place a couple of years ago and sometimes it's accessible and sometimes it isn't. It's just this little patch here. And I had to climb down the riprap right here to get to it. And the last time I was here, I found a marble and I found some glass and I found some ceramic. I found a couple pieces of ceramic so far not as much. Obviously this area is going to be ever-changing because it's at the mouth of this culvert here and the waves are higher sometimes. Um, right now it's accessible because the water is not running through. Um, I thought I just saw a piece of glass while I was talking. Yeah. There's a little piece here. Not a big piece, but it pays to do your research on Google to find secret little spots where a lot of people might not know about or, or come down to. So I'm gonna keep looking and see if I find anything else here today. Some glass down here. I don't think it's frosted. Shoes on. There's a piece there. And a piece here. I'll have to wait until it's not wet to see if it's frosted. Thanks for coming along with me to Milwaukee. This is my last trip to the beach before we move to Michigan. So I've got my overnight stuff here. We are helping my in-laws move into their new house. They've downsized a bit, so we're here. And I thought, well, I'm gonna run out and do some beach combing here. And as you saw, the first place was a bust because of the algae, but I had so much fun at my second stop. Just wanted to show you real quick Obviously you saw me pick up a lot of the stuff, but I want to show you real quick what I picked up. I picked up some nice driftwood, which I'm going to use for craft projects. Really nice and smooth driftwood. I love beach toys. This is broken, but I probably use this in a craft project, so I just kind of kept that. A lot of just pretty rocks. I hadn't planned on picking up so many rocks today but it happens they jump in my bag all of my treasure hunting started when I was younger probably five years old growing up near Lake Michigan and I loved looking for stones so that's kind of where it all started obviously these don't show up as well because they're not wet but they just need a little polishing and I picked up some heart-shaped rocks I love heart-shaped rocks I like to collect those found a lot of really neat fossil stones and then I do like to pick up just really flat smooth stones for crafting and then some different shaped stones those are kind of fun to pick up and then lastly I did find quite a handful of glass this morning some of it is really perfectly really a lot like sea glass really perfectly rounded really nice pieces of glass and a bunch of ceramic as well. So that is the haul for my last day here in Milwaukee. I will be back probably in November. 
But if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate that. And I will see you down the beach somewhere.